Hey everyone, welcome back to my hemochromatosis journey. If you can believe it or not, it's been a full three years since I first was diagnosed with hemochromatosis and began doing phlebotomies. If you remember way back then, my iron was at 4200 when the normal is about 100. And so I began a three year journey of consistent phlebotomies to get my numbers down. And in April of 2019, when I had my last test, my numbers were at 300. Since then, I've been doing a phlebotomy per month and I just took a ferritin test yesterday and I am waiting for the results. I was thinking about the last three years and you may have seen some videos on my journey, how to prepare for a phlebotomy, the symptoms and changes I've been feeling through the years. But I wanted to give you a little more context or a different look at it, so I went and crunched the numbers. In three years, I've had 72 phlebotomies, which averages out to two per month, every month for three years. Now, I had been going weekly, bi-monthly, monthly, but to average that consistent twice a month for three years is how I got my iron down by 4,000 points. When I say phlebotomy, I have always called it a fancy blood donation, but I went and crunched the numbers on those too. So every time I have a phlebotomy, I give 500 milliliters of blood, and over those 72 phlebotomies, that totals 36,000 milliliters of blood given or 9.5 gallons. Can you believe that? Unfortunately, my blood is thrown away due to my sexual orientation here in Arizona and across the United States. So I hope that those laws change soon because that is a lot of blood that could have helped a lot of people. Thinking about those numbers, it is really overwhelming and I cannot believe I have made it this far. I'm waiting here right now for my latest ferritin or iron level test to come in. And as soon as I get the notification, I'm gonna sit back down here and share the results live with you. Two fifty. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye. You heard it here. It is two hundred and fifty after four months of phlebotomies. That means I only about decreased it about fifty eight points over those four months. Although I didn't change my diet at all, and I have been eating um, beef and things like that. So I should probably get back to being a little more vegetarian and you know doing some tweaks like that. So I wanted to thank you guys for joining me on this journey and commenting on my YouTube videos and all across social media. I love hearing from you guys so much. So keep me updated. I will keep making videos and sharing what I learn along my journey with hemochromatosis. So. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you soon. Bye.